Hello children, welcome to Enjoy Stories. In this series, we will be reading one story every episode. This is a part of my endeavor to encourage children to take to reading and collect books. Wishing all the very best. Today, we will read the story the snowman. This is one from the collection Fabulous Tales of Anderson. One snowy winter morning, some children gathered together and made a huge snowman. Then they laughed and played, throwing snowballs at each other. Before sunset, they all left for their homes. The snowman stood there in the cold and remarked, It is delightful here, so cold and windy, just the kind of weather to blow life into me. The snowman's eyes were made of two triangular tiles and his mouth was made of an old broken rake. The snowman said, I wish I could also travel to places like these children. I would love to run, but I cannot even walk. Why is the yellow ball in the sky staring at me? I want to see it closely. A yard dog overheard him and said, That is the sun. Trust me, the sun is your enemy. It will melt you down some day. I sense that the weather will soon change. However, the snowman was not satisfied. He still wanted to see the sun closely. The next morning, the sun rose with cold and rough winds. Thick fog covered the ground. The dewdrops on trees and bushes glittered in the sun like diamonds. Soon, a young girl came to the garden. She exclaimed in joy, This is the most beautiful scene I have seen this winter. A young man joined her. He pointed to the snowman and said, We cannot have such a snowman during summer. Doesn't he make for a wonderful sight? Then the two rolled in the snow and played for a while. The snowman asked the dog, Who are they? The dog replied, They are best friends. The girl is very kind. Many times she has fed and pampered me. The snowman said, you seem to have been here for a long time. The dog replied, I lived inside the house earlier. The master's boy was very naughty. One day he kicked me and I bit him in return. My master grew angry and put me in this kennel. It is so cold here. I miss being inside the house, beside the stove. The stove gave me a lot of warmth. The snowman asked, what is a stove? The dog replied, it is just your opposite. It is black and is always hungry. It eats firewood and gives out fire and heat. You love cold while the stove keeps us warm and cozy. You can see it through the window. 
The snowman peeped into the window and spotted the stove. It had fire gleaming on it. He said, She has a gentle glow around her. She is so beautiful. I wish to be near her. The dog said, Friend, never go near her, else you will melt. The snowman had already fallen in love with the stove. From then, he admired her day and night. The next morning was cold and foggy. The dog said to the snowman, It is cold, windy and frosty. It is your favorite weather today. Why are you so sad? The snowman replied, I am sad as I am stove sick. The windows are covered with ice, so I can't see the stove anymore. The dog was very amused to see the lovestruck snowman. Days passed and as the dog had said, the weather changed and it became warmer day by day. The snowman grew smaller in size but just remained lost in the thoughts of the stove. One morning, when the dog woke up, the snowman had melted away. A broomstick stood where the snowman stood until that day. The dog thought, now I understand the snowman's longing for the stove. For building the snowman, the kids had used the same broomstick that was used for cleaning the stove. He had a stove broomstick in his body. That is why he wanted so much to be near the stove. The dog missed the snowman's company. He longed for the next winter when the children would build another snowman. Hope you all enjoyed watching this, children. Thank you and we will meet again with another story.